What in the world possessed me to take 34 contracts? Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Pennsylvania here at Farm Sim 19. We are loaded up. We got seed over there. We've got fertilizer over here and we are ready to get this thing started. Oh, yeah. And the video's in 4K, so if you like watching it in 4K, check that out. We are recording this five days after my surgery, uh, which is on Wednesday. I'm really trying hard to speak today, so we're going to try and do what we can. However, today we are in mid-spring here on Bucks County, and legit 34 contracts I counted. I don't know. I don't know what got into me. We've got tons of sewing contracts. We've got what like yeah five fertilizing contracts the thing is once we finish these more contracts are going to pop up so do keep that in mind first things first let's start with some uh fertilizing contracts so let's just take a look here uh field 32 actually 32's nearish well nah not quite nearish so we are going to be using lots and lots of not cheats but mods to help us today of course we're using our uh with the multiple missions contract mod thing uh we've also got global company that we're rocking with here as well just double check take a look yep everything is selected there we've got everything ready to go we've even got this little bad boy right here the extended uh, additional settings right now i think it's on what is that oakfield farm um lighting yeah oakfield farm you know what i was playing on marwell manor the other day and i was really liking the lighting on that let's see if we could go through yeah marwell actually looks like oakfield and marwell use the same lighting i think the lighting on this looks incredible so that's exactly what we're going to use today again tons of contracts i mean 34 contracts that's not to say that we won't have more that's just what we've got to start with so we are going to oh no 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 oh boy um yeah oh wait hang on disable activate okay no it's good we're good we're good we're good just freaking out for no reason you know just doing what i do all right so <laughs> this is gonna take a long time i tell you what how's about this i'm gonna hit a couple and then we will check in once all of our fertilizing contracts have been completed this video is going to take like four hours to record. Oy. And just like that, we are all done with all of our fertilizing contracts. So let's uh, let's see. we got $168,000 right now. Let's just go through and complete these. So now we're at 206. So we've definitely gotten some good money. There was at 48 grand, something like that. Uh, let's see. Let's hit refresh. See if a couple more pop up. Uh, very unlikely. Yeah. No more popped up, so it's just more cultivating contracts that are populating. So now, we literally have to go around the entire map running all kinds of stuff, whether it be sugar beets, potatoes, this and that, whatever is whatever. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to see. Fortunately, we only used about half of our fertilizer, which is nice. Speaking of, real quick, uh, real quick catch up from the last time that we were together. So we have two fields here, 16 and 17. These are both done, or 16, blah, and 18. You see, we've actually got three different field chunks there, all done into one. Field 17, so we went with a barley and canola, at least to start with. And then the other fields that we own down here, 24, 44, 45, 46. Those are all grass fields. And funny enough, they're actually in their first stage of growth right now, which is very nice. Plus, all of the areas around the map have started to grow up which is very cool i think right now we're in the stage where we either need to get a bigger tractor so that we can get some stuff done even though obviously i can only do one thing at a time it would still be nice to have something a little bit bigger even though we are running these tractors at twice their horsepower rating or big or we go with a semi truck and a semi trailer I think I want to go with a bigger tipper first and a bigger uh, trailer and tractor, I think, and then make our way through. But, you know, anything can happen. Also, we've got some wool as well, which is very, very cool and very exciting. Get this bad boy parked up. There we go. 
We're actually using the Missy B reusable wool pallets. These are going to be 64,000 liters each. And as you can see, we have 10,000 liters in one of them already. I just placed four down. I don't know if we're going to need any more than that, but uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. What are we doing? Field number one, I believe that's uh, sugar beet. Yeah, field number one, sugar beet. So let's get this changed over. There's sugar beet. F11, transport. Field number one. <laughs> By the way, every field that's blinking right there, we have contracts on. This is going to take a while. Let's get the party started. Hitting our last run right here. I think this is our fifth field. I believe it's field number six. Yep, there it is. Field contract number six completed. We're going to go ahead and select a few of these and complete them. So boom, 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 boom. And uh, now we're up another $40,000 or so, which is awesome. So now we're going to be moving over to field 7, 10, 11, 12, uh, basically we're just going up. Looks like the field is not right in front of us. Looks kind of diagonal over here. What is going to be in field number seven? Oats, of course, the best crop in the world. Let's put it down. A lot of you guys were also asking about this spreader. This is part of the Eurospan pack from Black Eyes Official Modding. Uh, it is available for all platforms. It is a fertilizer pack. However, when you download it, you will also receive the seeder, which is perfect for doing seeding contracts, which I've never done before, but it just throws the seed out like normal. Actually, uh, one of you guys was telling me in the video that we reviewed about this, that a lot of farmers in your area are doing this with wheat crops and seeing virtually identical performance, which is really, really cool. So I'm just going to keep rocking. I'm going to keep uh, doing these fields and we'll check in with you guys periodically to let you know how everything's going. So a bit of a problem that I've run into. Um, I'm not able to fertile or to do this anymore. Uh, something's going on and it's telling me on every single field, this is like the fifth or sixth one that I don't have access to this land. Tis a bit irritating uh, a little bit because there's a ton of money here. A lot of money here. Let's be fair. I'm probably going to cheat this in because I'm getting cheated. Uh, let's see corn and, um, what was that? 23 work across the field at 22 right now let's come over here and see if it'll let us do anything got seeds corn don't have access to this land so something has happened to where we are not able to access these things anymore uh, i have taken on a fertilizing contract one of them in field uh one so let's go in here and let's see okay so this is allowing us to do this which is great however uh not so much luck around the rest of the of the field. So what we might do is uh, maybe count our losses or see what we would have made and maybe add something similar to it. I was going to complete these contracts. It was very upsetting. Very, very upsetting. Uh, one thing I may do is maybe round them all down to the uh, nearest thousand. Um, that way you can account for seeds and expenses, that type of thing, and wear and tear on the vehicles in general and fuel probably what we will do very upsetting very very upsetting so $158,000 later which is what we would have made on the contracts we have gotten $432,000 looking very very good we're making plenty of money today's been a good day as far as contracts go which is very nice however eh, there's kind of nothing to do right now Let's take a look at our animals, see if there's anything that we could possibly do for them. No, the cows are perfectly happy, our chickens are perfectly happy, and our sheep are perfectly happy. Speaking of cows, what do we got over here? 88,000 liters of slurry. Doing pretty good right there. I'm very, very happy with the way everything's going. Again, our sheep are very, very happy out here, just chilling out, doing their thing up in there in the long grass. What up, dude? I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm very, very happy. Take a look because we are in the second year in here. Let's take a look at our silo and see what we've got. So as you can see, 98,000 liters of wheat, uh, 724 liters of barley, though that will be going up because that, well, it's going to go up by thousands. And we do have still, once we get to, I believe it's the first of summer, 
273,000 liters of um, soybeans to sell. It's quite a bit. As far as over here goes, you can see we're out of silage, we're out of hay, and we're out of straw. But we've also created a ton of TMR. So there's that. And we have plenty of grass as well, 934,000 liters of grass, which is very, very good. So how about this? I think we're pretty much done, at least for today in game. Let's fast forward a little bit of time. Let's uh, let's see, let's find our four-wheeler here. There we go. Let's take this bad boy home. Let's get some rest. And, uh, and we will come back uh, tomorrow in game, tomorrow morning. We'll see what we can get ourselves into. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Let's get this party started. Yo, it'll be awesome to trade this thing in for the new Beast 1000. I think that might be a good idea. Or maybe have one of both. I think one of both might be even better. Take a look here. You can see we are in our first growth stage of both of these crops. They are not going to be ready for at least another few days. So do keep that in mind. We are still a few days away from all of that. However, our money will be doubling, maybe even tripling as of tomorrow in game. One thing I'm extremely excited about. Let's go ahead and park up here. We need to get our animals taken care of. So first things first, let's jump in here. And we're going to need to get our food. Now, I think we've got plenty of TMR, as was mentioned in here. But we'll take a look and see. Uh, as you can see, we are using a modified version of the uh, K-Bread SPV-12. Get a little bit of yon, 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 yon counter plus one. Remember right here? And then we'll just kind of look for that TMR. Yeah, it looks like we've got plenty of it. Let's take a look at the cows, and we'll see how much we need. So it looks like about... Ooh, we have way too much. I was going to say about 14,000, 15,000 liters will be all that these cows need. We have got way too much in here. I might as well turn it on while we're at it. Go and get it emptied out. And that's, yeah, going to fill right up. They also need water. Now, the water is a little bit easier to manage because we do have the uh, extended animal pin mod turned on. So if we make our way over here. All we have to do is just turn this on. I'll actually turn on the help window so you guys can see it. But we just got it right here. Start filling. And that will sit there and fill. It's got 88,000 liters to go. So maybe a little bit more than you would expect. But I think we're going to be just fine there. At least for cows. That's it for the cows. Chickens are kind of identical to... Uh, well, they're just chickens, I think, at the end of the day. We're going to go ahead and empty out our barley for them. And then we'll go ahead and dig into our wheat. So we need to find that barley first. <laughs> I forgot that this is a multi-fruit. There we go. Get a little, pss, and then we'll be all right. We do have a bunch of eggs that are building up over here. Once these seem to start getting full, we'll go ahead and push them to the side. Uh, let's see. We also need to... Actually, no, we don't need to change this up. There we go. We'll do that. Chicken coop. All right, so they still need about three to 4,000 liters. So I'm going to go ahead and just use that for oats. And that's what we'll put in there. And then we're going to have to take this trailer over to the sheep because they're a little bit more difficult. For the sheep, we are going to need to come over here to this silo and get out the grass. So almost all of the grass that we've got collected is right here. There we go. Yeah, 703,000 liters. We're going to fill this up. Let's see our cattle. Water's going up, very nice. And then here, looks like about 13,000 liters. We'll just do a full run here. Now for this, quite literally, I just go across the road. and Double check, make sure nobody's coming, but I just run across the road real quick to right here because our sheep are actually on this farm right here. Oh, we just come over here and we've also got the same mechanism for the water as well. Some of you may ask, and I will go ahead and tell you, the water is only available on PC only through global company as far as i can tell that is not a console mod so we'll come through here back this up go and dump that out let them be happy there and then we'll come right here and we'll open up the water and it'll just fill it up so they will be nice and happy that'll take care of our cows that'll take care of our sheep which the food's going up on right or the water's going up on right now and our chickens are very very happy plus I may or may not have taken on some more contracts. I love to... Oh, Crash Counter Plus one. I love doing contracts. They make so much money. Let's leave that there. Let's come over here. They make so much money. It's ridiculous. So why not just keep doing it? 
We have fertilizer contracts on a bunch of fields. I'm just going to pop these out real quick as you see. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, the, the money's going to be very high. We're hopefully going to be above 500,000 by the end of this, but only time's going to tell. So here we are. I've done all of these contracts. Fortunately for us, they haven't taken too long, and we only had one contract that gave us any trouble whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and collect all of that. We're at 432,000 right now. Would be nice to get that number over 500. We will see. We're also going to uh, fill that one. Oh, okay. Uh, 570. I think we had we made a little bit more money than I thought we were going to. All right. Not too shabby. A very good day with a whole lot of money being made. And at this point now, all of our animals are happy as well. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on, let's see, 152,000 liters of uh, slurry. So we're doing okay there. Yikes. We will uh, we will go ahead and park everything back up. And I'm going to rest my mouth because I am uh, running. Uh, <laughs> my mouth hurts. So I'm going to quit talking for a little while. And we are going to park up the tractors. And we are going to relax. And we're going to take off. That is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to Jumpy New and join the GoAm fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.